Okay guys, so to update the navigation software, first you can go and check to see if there are any updates. So if you go into settings and then navigation settings, if you scroll down to the bottom, you can see installed maps and updates. So if you select this one, then you can do check for updates or installed maps version. Now, if you go into the Land Rover website, you'll be able to see what the latest version is for the maps and then you can compare it to this one here. Right, so to download the latest maps, you need to go to landrover.here.com and then click on the maps and services tab there on the right hand side. Now, just remember, you need to have a service plan with Land Rover to be able to download these maps. If you don't, then you are able to purchase these separately and you'll see an add to basket button like this and the price that it costs. So I have a subscription which expires in uh, September of this year. So I'm going to be downloading the Europe and Russia map. I'll click on get latest version. Now make sure that your USB stick is in the laptop at this point. So now as you can see, the file size is quite big. So you need to have a USB stick of a relevant size that would compensate for that. So I have a 64 gigabyte USB installed. The one thing to remember is that the USB needs to be formatted as FAT32 and not any other format. So if it's NTFS, then you'll need to erase it and set it to FAT32. So if you click on download map, it will open up a specific map downloader from Land Rover. And if you do see any errors, it will tell you how to resolve it. So when I first plugged in my USB stick, it was not FAT32. So I had to open up disk utility on my MacBook. So if I just quickly show you this now, if, just in case you guys have the same issue, you go onto the USB stick here. So you'll be able to click on erase there. And all you have to do is select FAT32 in the format drop down there and then click on erase. That will run the process fairly quickly and then your USB stick will be FAT32 formatted. Then you'll have to reopen the downloader again. So now I've got it there, everything seems fine. I'll click on select. I'll click on allow. And now you just have to leave it running and it's going to take quite a while because the file is very large. So just leave it running and then it should be there on your USB stick once it's finished. Right, so I have my USB. I'm gonna put that into the USB port in the compartment here in the middle. And then I'm gonna go into the settings to get this updated. Right, so I've just plugged in the USB and this automatically came up saying that it's detected that there's a map update on a USB device and I can install that now. So I click continue. It could take about half an hour, so I'll be here waiting for that. So let's go and see how this starts off. Continue to overwrite the existing map data. So the car still needs to be on. And it just gives you confirmation and then you click start. So that's it, you leave the car on. It will be about half an hour, hopefully a little bit quicker. So I'm gonna let this run through and then show you guys once it's finished. All right guys, it actually took me 15 minutes, so a lot quicker than expected. So now it tells me that it's successful and I'm gonna continue. So now it's gone back to the home screen. I'm gonna go back to the navigation to see if it's updated. It's just finishing the update. And then you have the confirmation. Now it's telling you that you can now remove the USB stick. So I'm pretty much ready to go. And if I just quickly go to the settings to confirm, navigation settings, Scroll to the bottom. Installed maps. As you can see, the latest version and the last map update was today. So that's it and pretty much ready to go. Hopefully that was a quick, useful tutorial for you guys. And if I notice anything new in the actual system with the navigations, then I'll let you guys know in the comments below. But if there's anything else you want to know, if you're having a bit of a problem with this, then drop a comment. I'll try to help you out as much as I can. Otherwise, I'll leave a link in the description for the playlist of all my Range Rover Villar videos. So do check that out. Otherwise, I hope you subscribe and I hope you like this video and I will catch you guys in the next one. Take care.